Hello, beautiful souls. Here is your 10 minute practice. No excuses. Everyone can do it. So get down on towards your mat. Let's start opening up the hips. Baddha Konasana. Just bring your hands behind you. Maybe a little flutter on the knees, or maybe you just want to let gravity do the work as you open up your hips. Take an inhale and then dropping the head down. We're multitasking here. Rolling your head from one side to the other. Nice, sitting up nice and tall, crossing your legs, reaching your fingertips to the ceiling, reach up. Float your hands down, inhale, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, lower and rise. Inhale, exhale, float your hands down. Inhale, reach them up one more time. Dropping your fingertips down to the mat and reaching up. Good, lower your right hand down right into a side bend. Side stretch, feeling this beautiful stretch on your left side. Reach, reach, reach for the side wall. And then slowly back up to center and over to the other side. Good, coming up, have your feet find the mat, windshield wiper 90-90, starting to loosen up the joints in our hips. Then bring your knees together, come into your tabletop position, into some cat cows, just to really gently here, dropping the belly, look up, deep breath in. And then exhale, curve the spine, pushing your hands in towards the mat. And then have your knees go to the outer edge, have your toes to touch, and then sitting back into your wide-legged child's pose, reaching forward. And then coming up, sitting back onto your heels, bring your arms out to your side or behind your head, out to the side. Bring your chest up, take a deep breath in, really feeling your lungs expand while you pull your elbows back. And then dropping your hands down, come up onto your knees, taking your left foot, stepping it forward, come into your low lunge. So just opening up the hips, release the toe. And then picking up the back foot, straighten both legs. Just fall over your foot just for a minute, over your leg and then walking your hands to the center, come into your wide-legged forward fold. Even if you're just bringing your fingertips to the top, flat back. Drop your head, sway from side to side. Or if just staying still feels good, you could do that. And then walk your hands over to the other side. We're going into reverse. So melting over the left leg this time. and then bending the front knee into your low lunge. Good, take the right foot, swing it back, and then come into your downward facing dog. So bending the knees, bringing your hands to the top of the mat. Lots of movement here. Big inhale and exhale, little micro bend in your elbows. Maybe your knees. And then bring your feet together. Roll into your high plank position. Holding your high plank. One breath in. And then exhale, lower your knees. Float yourself all the way down. Come into your sphinx pose. You have your shoulders above your elbows. Now you're pushing your hips in towards the mat, lifting up. But pull the belly in to protect the lower back. Lift up. And then slowly lower, dropping your chin down on towards the mat. And we're gonna pull our left foot in towards our glutes. Nice quad stretch here. So grabbing the top of our left foot, pulling it in. At the same time, we're pushing our hips into the mat. 
and then slowly release, switching sides, grabbing the top of your right foot, pull it in, pushing your hips into the mat. And release, lifting up into your cobra once more, and then all the way up to your upward facing dog. And then onto your toes, bend your knees, slowly come up, hips go high, downward facing dog. One breath here, and then lifting your right leg up, three-legged dog, lift, 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 squeezing the glute, keeping your shoulders square, and then bending the right knee, and then let's do big circles here, dropping the knee down to the side, around, in to the side, around. Extend three-legged dog, and then dropping your right leg down. Left leg goes up, three-legged dog, and then bending the left knee, open up the hip, both heels should be heavy, dropping the left knee this time in, out, and around, in, out, Round one more time. In, out, and around. Beautiful, good. And then dropping your knees all the way down, come into your tabletop position, extending your right leg out. So you have your right leg straight, toes pointed down, hips are square, and then lifting the left arm up over your head. Palm facing in. Squeezing the glute. We're just having a moment of stillness, but in this stillness, we are creating so much strength. Lift, and then hand goes down, leg goes down. Sit back for a moment into your child's pose, reaching forward. Your knees can be together or apart. And then rolling back up into your tabletop position, extending your left leg out this time. Toes pointed down, right arm goes up over the head, palm facing in. Lift the arm a little higher, lift the leg a little higher. Squeezing the core. Lift, lift, lift. And then dropping the right hand, dropping the foot, the knee, and then come up to you, your downward facing dog. One deep breath here. And release. Picking up the right foot, lifting it all the way up, through like a dog, bending the left knee, and then stepping it through both of our hands, Come up into your crescent lunge, lifting up. Nice inhale, stretching for the ceiling. We have our back leg straight or even a slight bend is fine. Reach up, then lower all the way down. Runner's lunge for just a moment, bringing the chest forward. Left leg goes back, high plank position. Hips are high, downward facing dog. Right leg goes up, three-legged dog. Then bending the right knee, stepping it through for our runner's lunge, and then up to our crescent lunge, lifting up. Hold, relaxing your shoulders, relax your jaw. And then lower down into your runner's lunge, bring your chest forward. Placing both hands onto the mat, taking the right foot, send it back. Let's lower the knees, float ourselves down, chaturanga, upward dog to downward facing dog. <sighs> Lift the heels, bend the knees, jump hop or step, top of the mat. Halfway lift, bringing your palms up onto your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Take a moment in your forward fold, walking it out, shaking your head. And then placing your hands onto the mat, step back into your high plank position. Let's flow it out. So chaturanga or knees, chest, chin to your upward dog and then downward facing dog. One deep, deep breath here. Good. And then bringing your knees wide, release your toes into your wide-legged child's pose. And then folding yourself up, come up onto your toes and then straighten the legs, bring your feet to the outer edge, toes pointed out, and then have a seat in your Malasana squat. Good, placing your hands on towards the mat, 
Straightening both legs, heel toe, your feet a little bit closer together into your forward fold. And then walking your hands to the top of the mat, come into your high plank position, then onto your knees, rolling yourself all the way down, reaching forward, sticking your hands, reach, 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 point your toes. And then let's roll over onto our back, giving yourself some self love, squeezing our knees in towards our chest, maybe rocking from side to side. You're almost done, you did it, you're amazing. Point your toes and your fingers, start to reach for your toes. Good, and then making your way up, whoo, as we close this quick 10 minute practice. And now we can do all the wonderful things that we need to do today. Take this beautiful, positive energy and share with all those that you love. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.